Right, so another little entry. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm removing the tone control on off switch because it doesn't work properly. It clicks off, um, it doesn't click on so many times. It's, uh, it, it clicks off, doesn't click on. So it's either, either gummed up with grease or the little um, ratchety thing inside is worn. But that's coming out. I've snipped halfway. Oops, I've snipped halfway. So this wire goes off to the choke here, and there's another wire that goes off. So I've clipped those roughly in the middle because I'll be replacing these wires anyway because they're hard and brittle, and um, that's got quite high voltage on it. So I want that to be um, modern wire. Um, I've clipped them off halfway so I can remember which way around they go. But I have taken lots of pictures. And the same with the volume control wires here, going off to the uh, output valve, I've um, clipped those there. And obviously the mains lead, I've replaced it with a bit of two core coming down, I haven't connected it up yet. It runs down the back of the chassis. Um, and one thing I should mention is um, the fact that you've got mains wire coming down right next to the valve and right next to the speaker. Um, terminals and quite near the output transformer so I'm just wondering how much hum it uh, it does or doesn't pick up I don't know anyway I'm going to remove that it's quite easy just this nut comes off here and then I'm going to disassemble that so I'll be back in a minute because I can't uh, do both um, do that and film at the same right. time switch is apart um, and that was just stuck. See these two? Right, okay. So when you rotate when you rotate this to switch it on, it's that little brass pin at the bottom. This thing that rotates, it sits in here normally and clicks these back or forward. Probably can't do it one. No, I can't do it now, can I? So well, there we go. One, two. And it had just got a bit stiff. So a little bit of lubrication, that seems to be working fine now. What I'm going to do is clean out all this dust out of here. If you can see it, there's little bits of dust. It's actually a paper ring in there, like an insulating ring. And here's the carbon track inside the pot. Now what happened is um, most, a lot, some a lot of, of uh, radios at this time had the volume control in with the switch and what they found was that uh, obviously with turning the um, radio on and off all the time it particularly wore the track up at this end you can just see where the two little tabs are that run around the track just see, it's around one little tab that run around the track and obviously if you're switching that on all the time on it wears this first bit out and if there's no resistance there your volumes are going to be full on from from the get go so bang that's sort of on isn't it and then you have full volume before you turned it down again and it got more resistance or well, obviously with the tone control it doesn't really matter too much does it not on, a, not on an AM radio so this needs a little bit of cleaning up, which I shall do. Um, this outside was actually rusty. I've put a little bit of rust remover on it just to clean it. I don't want to lose that ink stamp though. I might have to. Um, I think that sits at the bottom, but I can't really remember. So I'm going to get my wire brush and just clean this up very carefully. There we go. And when we're finished, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, Vaseline. Uh, petroleum jelly on here just to protect the track and some on here just like a little grease but it's not that harmful to uh, electronical electrical stuff right right here we are the uh, on off tone control is all cleaned up um, it back working the way it should um, what I'm now going to do is replace all these wires the whole lot so these ones here those ones at the back here 
to here and so on so on so every little bit let's see if I can pick it up and turn it around it's quite heavy so every bit of wire now is uh, just about to get replaced and that's going to be a two three hour job I would think Lots of more fiddle around and I've got a cup of tea and everything um, Hmm. What I might do is leave these capacitors, and even if I know that they are duff, because I'm going to have to chop these out anyway and restuff them, just to see if it works. But I want to make sure it's um, safe before I do that. So I'll just have a quick power off, power up test, just to make sure it's worth uh, going at, uh, further with. Um, so far, there's been quite a lot of work just to get to the power up stage. Um, <laughs> that's just just the way it goes. Or what I might do is just um, yeah, I want to make sure there's nothing, you know, because if anything's shorted and I don't see like under here, for instance, and I don't even want to move these wires; they're so brittle. If there's anything shorted that I can't see, um, and I turn it on, I might just wreck it anyway. So um, yeah. Anyway, it's a little bit of fun, even if it doesn't all work at the end. But uh, yeah, quite a bit of work to do just to get it ready to power on. Right, I've spent a fair bit of time, uh, maybe a couple of hours actually, rewiring this section here, which was totally duff. I've obviously cleaned the main switch. What was an absolute nightmare, if I can get a pointy thing, um, was trying to solder the two leads from the mains um, cable into the switch I wasn't happy the first time I did it, it didn't look very very professional so um, I redid that again which what, took a lot of time and then replaced these two wires to this choke here and then replaced these black and yellow wires to the output valve so what we've gonna do what we're gonna do now I can't wait. I've got plug wire attached to variac. So we're gonna switch the variac on. I've got the aerial plugged in, something I usually forget to do and then wonder why I can't get any stations. I've got it set to medium wave, um, sort of in the middle of the dial, so we should get something. And um, Let's see what happens. Wish me luck and uh, watch out for any smoke. Right. Straight in about 47 volts or something. I can't see or hear anything. I'm not going to touch the set, the metalwork. Because it is an ACDC sap. Nothing so far. Right. Let's bring it up to a hundred volts. Now the valves usually take some time to warm up on ACDC sets. So let's just sit here. Hmm. Nothing bad happening, which is good. All right, let's bring it up to one hundred and fifty. Let it sit there. Ah, dial lamp just came on. And oh, I thought I could hear something in the speaker. Nope. Hmm. All right. The main thing is nothing's smelling. And there's no smoke. Bring it up to 
well, the speaker just clicked then. It's about 175, 180 volts. Oh! Still got 18 holes to go. It happen in 18 holes. And so on, uh, hopefully, I can just go out there and play well. If I do that, then I'll give myself a good chance. 1780 the, the woman that you hit on, on Thursday, yeah. I got to see her today. Yeah. Wow. It works. There's still quite a bit to do. I haven't changed any capacitors or anything. There's no hum on it either. I would have expected those. Uh, Two smoothing or three smoothing capacitors not to work at all. Right. Well, that's BBC Radio 5. Right. Let's switch it on to shortwave. That works. At least it's, it's trying to receive. Shortwave, very faint station there. Something else there. Radio Tuzakhstan or something. Oh, it's French. There you go, I'll shut up. Well, I'm well chuffed at this. This is working. Not that I... Alright, let's try a long wave. Yep. Oh, yes. It's the BBC shipping forecast. West Seoul, northwesterly 5, backing southwesterly 6, fair, good. East Seoul, Lundy, Fastnet. Northerly 6, what, Gale 8, um, becoming variable 4, then South West... Lundy and Fastnet, you listen to her. I receive North 6, These are all areas, five so... Seven. Showers, good. So off the coast of the UK Show. is dividing into, uh, divided into areas that have names relative. Lundy's an island, South I think. West 6 to Gale 8, rain, poor. Malin Hebrides, West 5, backing so southwest. So she's going round the top of Scotland now. Good, occasionally poor. Bailey, South 6 to Gale 8, veering southwest 6 later. Rain or showers, good, occasionally poor. Fair Isle, variable 4, becoming south 6 to Gale 8. Showers, then rain, good, becoming poor. And finally, Faroes, South East Iceland. Southerly 6, increasing 7 or Gale 8, veering southwesterly 6 later. Rain or well, showers, good. Occasionally poor. Well happy at this. That's that's only still at 100 and 780 volts. Yeah. Well, the shipping forecast has been going for absolute years. There was all these weird names when you were a kid, like Viking and Cromarty. And uh, you wondered where the hell they, they were. And obviously, at one time, the UK had quite a big fishing uh, fleet and uh, these shipping forecasts were quite uh, important to them um, and still important to this day really for, for anyone at sea right so um, can't say much more it works there's a lot more to do there's a lot of more wires to replace right one thing I was going to check as well as the tone control. Yeah. Tone control works. Wow. Well chuffed for that. Um, yeah. More to come. Thanks for watching.